Growing concerns over the coronavirus have prompted county leaders to initiate a preparedness and action plan. It covers all county uh, facilities with the primary focus on places with a high volume of visitors, such as the courthouse and the Justice Center. Paul Venema now with a look at what's being done and what's planned. The moment you arrive, you'll see that they're serious here when it comes to the coronavirus. The staff wears protective gloves and there's hand sanitizers readily available. In the courtrooms, the use of sanitizer liquid is urged. There are deaths that are happening, uh, cases of cross-contamination that's happening on a daily basis, so I don't think we're overreacting at all. Judge Boyd, who is on a county committee addressing the coronavirus issue, is taking a proactive approach in her courtroom. We have a lot of hand sanitizers everywhere. There's Kleenex everywhere. We're, enc we're encouraging all attorneys, if you handle paperwork, to use the hand sanitizer before and after that. Down the hall in County Court Number 9, Judge Gloria Saldana began taking precautions a week ago. She restructured her docket to reduce the number of people in her courtroom at no more than 15 at any given time. If I have to have four dockets, that's, I think it'll actually end up being much more efficient. She wears gloves while on the bench, and she asks that courtroom visitors sit as far apart as possible. I still like to look ahead and try to do things the most efficient and the most protective way I can. County commissioners have been briefed by the Office of Emergency Management on what steps are being taken to ensure protection for county staff and visitors to county offices. That includes wiping down surfaces by the housekeeping staff with hospital grade disinfecting agents and increased availability of sanitizers. Those bottles you see at courthouse entrances will soon be replaced. The county has ordered freestanding machines that I'm told will be in place in a day or two. Paul Venema, KSAT 12 News.